Jazz is about creativity. Jazz is about being spontaneous within certain parameters. Uh, it's learning to have your own voice. It's about learning to be expressive. And so we teach you how to do that. We teach you the guidelines and the parameters to grow. We want to serve both the student who just, uh, the student who's interested in learning, but also the student who knows that they want to take this further as a career. So we have both sides where we have teachers who can tailor to young students who are just starting to learn, and then we have older students who know that they want to go study at a conservatory, or they want to study jazz, or be a band director or a music teacher. We have teachers with very diverse backgrounds, which makes it a unique experience for all students. We took over the Leonard School of Music, we merged with them, and uh, we renovated the upstairs. And so we're using the same model as the Leonard School, but we took that model and ran further, and we're serving students who want to learn how to play funk music, and singer-songwriters, and people who want to compose music for movies, and with the building, we were able to make 12 practice rooms out of it, two full band rooms. Growing up, I always thought that New York and Chicago was where jazz started, New Orleans even. But learning from some local jazz musicians in the area, um, primarily a good mentor of mine, Charlton Singleton, uh, he's taught me a lot that arguably jazz could have started in Charleston with organizations like the Jenkins Orphanage with Reverend uh, Jenkins and how he would take students in who didn't have homes and would teach them a trade, primarily music. And so through music, a lot of these musicians would go on to play with groups like Count Basie, Duke Ellington, and a lot of other big name bands. The Jenkins Orphanage is still around. And we want to do as much as we can with the Charleston Jazz Organization and Charleston Jazz Academy to replicate that, give students an opportunity to grow. Uh, we're going to offer some scholarship opportunities for students who may not have the opportunity to do it otherwise. Um, and just giving them a chance to otherwise grow and learn about music. Students should have the opportunity to be creative and learn how to play outside the box by learning how to, by learning what's inside the box. So by doing that, we can teach them how to be creative. We can give them opportunities to be free and explore.